Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Armored Core Project Phantasma. See, I remember this time. And with me today, I have... Zane. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't know if I should start. Well, I didn't know who was going to go... Yeah, I don't play on these things. All right. Uh, and Ovalk Jam. So, today, I am actually taking... Uh, what is it? Siren's Request and I'm using Large Rockets on this mission. And so, Oh, someone else said I should use Reverse Leg -like Joints, so I have those too. So... Once this briefing goes away, Rusty Nail, ha. Ah, I get it. We will begin the infiltration. Please destroy all opposition. Man, they just start you off being pounded, don't they? Yeah, normally they're nice enough to not make you take damage while you don't have control of your AC. I don't think you take damage, but um, probably ought to get used to being in combat when the cutscene ends or starts in these missions, because it happens again. Okay, so you have the large rockets equipped, are you actually gonna use them? I do them? use them once I run out of Gatling gun ammo. Alright. Well, right now. Which I run out of because I'm not really conserving it, because... You know, see, here we have some rockets being fired into nowhere. You have to actually aim at them. Well, so those are totally the, uh, what are they, at, -AT walkers. That's what I was just about to say. I was like, wow, I didn't know, you know, this was in a galaxy far, far away. It is in the galaxy far, far away. On Earth. On Earth. Yes. I see what you did there. So yeah, we have the flower bots again. I really have to wonder about the design of pink flower bots, but whatever. I really have to wonder what you're gonna do when you run out of Gatling ammo and can't shoot any more flower bots. Well, fortunately, I run out of Gatling ammo after this is the last one. You are so damned lucky. Hey, it's Sumika. Yes, she's pink because she's a girl, so... Yes, and all girls wear pink. Oh, well, obviously. I mean, have you ever played Virtual On? Nope. Oh, man, the only girl robot there was, uh, in a tutu, completely <laughs> wearing pink. Awesome. So you can watch me miss with rockets again and again and again. Yeah, pretty much. You know, the sky really needed that sort of punishment, though, to be honest. It was just being there, full of air. And the problem is, because I'm using the Gatling gun arms, I don't have a laser blade, which I'd forgotten. Oh, yeah. That's right. But here we can see the special aiming that was mentioned in the thread, where we have those lines showing where the rocket will fly. Yes. Because you cannot lock on with rockets. They always fly in a straight path in front of you. Because they're rockets. Unlike bullets, which you can lock on with, because they wait, they also always go in a straight line in the direction your gun is pointing. Don't ask questions. Wait, wait, haven't you ever seen. Uh, I don't remember that terrible movie. Oh. Uh, the one where they bend bullets? Yeah, I, they did that on Mythbusters. That's the only one. Wanted. Wanted. Okay. Yeah. They Yay, you spent more money in ammunition than you got in room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Okay, let's do the underground maze instead. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> screw you, Thread. Uh, I'm going to go back to the working design. This is why one of the tricks, the important things with Armored Core is to use free ammo weapons. And that's why it's because you spend so much money on ammo. It's like... Well no, you use for your, you use your Karasawa uh, you use your Karasawa AC on all your missions, and then you use the really expensive ammo on Arena. Yeah, which would make sense. So we're not going to be using any special weapons. Destroy all materials upon discovery. Oh yeah, Sumika's not saying anything useful. Does she ever? Uh, most NPCs don't. Well, when she gives us the long speech about the plot. You can do a Moonlight Crescent. Yes, I'm also using the generator that, that Siren was talking about. The uh, one with the large red zone area. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna say it's got a fuck ton of red zone area. Yeah, because of that, I can't have a secondary weapon equipped on the uh, shoulder because it weighs a lot. And you're using pretty nice legs for as far as weight capacity goes. Yeah. So. Man, I already hate this mission. Treasure chest, open it. Come on, come on. Yes, we'll get to it once I get around to destroying Wait, those Wait, what things. the fuck is a treasure chest doing here? You know, this is one of the reasons why I had to show this mission once I got to it, because yes, there's a treasure chest in the middle. It is a mech-sized treasure chest. But, what do you... I, also, it glitches when I try and open it. <laughs> I'm... I'm lost. 
Oh man, I was I was actually kind of hoping hoping you'd get like a key or something, you know, progress to the dungeon or a potion. They could at least give us credits, like it, it just contained gold or something. But no, instead you kind of glitchy laser blade it. New game, two thousand credits. Da 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 da. Oh yes, and also the giant uh, mech-sized torch sconces on the wall, which I didn't show long enough. Hey, that's a door. But they were there. Yes, it is. It's the best door ever. And if you were not paying attention during the opening cutscene, you might have missed that those things with the little borders are doors. Ah, sneaky. Yeah, I might have already done this mission, so I'm skipping parts that I happen to know I can just ignore. You're not LPing blind like a good person. Most of the missions actually are my first attempts, solely because... Actually, a lot of these missions are both really short, and there really isn't that much you can do in them. You just... That's why you pad it out as much as possible. There's no secret parts. You gotta get all your secret parts through the arena, so that's probably why. Yeah. And there are missions like this where, if you wanted to, you can get lost in the maze for quite some time. I love those missions. I don't. And of course, since there's nothing to find down the alternate paths, it's just like, okay. Yeah, that's like game design 102. If you're gonna send people down worthless paths, at least to reward them for it. Uh... It provides some reward, because one of the annoying things in Final Fantasy, for example, is having to travel down every single little dead end to gather crap. Well, they, they fixed that in Final Fantasy. Four for the DS. And in 13, there are no other paths. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't talk about 13. I saw a giant treasure chest up there. Do you have the big key yet? You saw what? Giant treasure chest? No? Okay, never mind. I don't think I saw that. I, did, I didn't see one. What's that thing up there? There was a turret on the roof. No, turn left, turn left. <laughs> oh, you can't. No, they're like pillars. Oh, there's nothing there. Yeah. You know what, never mind. I'm just crazy. Trying to make a stupid reference. And I didn't bother showing it in the briefing, but those are the research materials we have to destroy those crates. All of them? Of course, as denoted by nothing. No, like I said, it was in the briefing. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea when I did it, but. Eh, what the heck. Now you can watch me individually shoot the individual crates. Isn't this exciting? No. I, have confirmed that everything I don't know, I like the kamikaze destroyed. personally. That, that made it awesome. Yeah. Target of Operation Clear. Do we have a base now? To normal mode. We're not. We're no longer just a random raven. Well, yeah, you destroyed the raven base, so I don't know. Maybe you're working out of like Sumika's truck. This just has a really long briefing for a very simple mission. Uh so this will be up there for a while for anyone who really wants to read the entire thing. Too lazy. But basically. We're destroying the little transport trucks we saw two missions, three missions ago. The ones where we had to destroy the end ones and not the middle one. And it sounds like it's like one of those really obnoxious things, because if even one makes it past, you lose the mission. Oh god, I hate those. Except that they're really freaking slow, and they start at the far end of the map, and you're much faster than they are, so... Oh, that's always a positive. It's actually really easy. So, uh... Why is there a military zone here? <laughs> Is there a war going on? I thought there was always a war going on between, like, two Yeah, companies. the companies. Yeah, but then you made them destroy each other last game. Also, I want to know where the mech-sized tree frogs are. Yeah, I thought that the entire surface world was uninhabitable or something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as to why they went with the tree frog sound effect, but it's, this is like... This is flashbacks to Channelwood. <laughs> from uh, Mist, which was also annoying with the frog sound effect. I also love how you demonstrate the uh, the range of depth, or field of depth, or the lack thereof. Yeah. Ooh, look, a tree. Oh, no more tree. Hey, a tree again. Uh, no, trees are indestructible. They're also two-dimensional, apparently. Yes, they're sprites. Just like in real life. Oh, yes. Yes, it's important to know where you're going. There's That's another one of the little vehicles that I just blew up. Yeah, I saw it. It was like two pixels. So, I guess if you waited long enough, they would make it to this, those points that were on the map, and then they would tell you that, oh no, they're about to cross the bridge. But I'm pretty sure that I just got all of them on this side. 
And you notice I couldn't get all of them on the other side because I was leaving the area, so... And we can't have that. Now it should, should just be to pop to the other side and get the remainder there. So like I said, it's it's a... Turn, it turns out to be a really simple mission despite the incredibly detailed explanation they give. Well, in, in theory, aren't all the missions just go here, kill shit? Congratulations. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah, some of them are just kill certain shit. For exist this one, we just have to destroy those things. We don't have to destroy all the enemies. All vehicles destroyed. Well yeah, I was not expecting the mission to end then. <laughs> Destruction of all targets confirmed. And then our computer has to duplicate Samika for Target us. Cleared. System switched I always normal. figured those messages were in there in case you decide to, like, kill Sumika or something. You can't. I know. She's invincible. Oh, I was about to say, that'd be awesome. And then we get another bit of plot from... Sort of. <laughs> She's never going to tell us what Phantasma is, is she? I don't know yet. I have not played that far into the game, and I don't remember. Oh. And let's be honest, Armored Core has never been really heavy on the plot department. Has any mech game really been heavy on the plot department? No. The Xenogears count? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> kind of. Anyway. Actually, I'm thinking of Xenosaga, but it's the same thing. No, Xenogears was a lot more heavier in plot. Xenosaga was heavier on, oh my god, what the hell? Yeah. And also, uh, Co Cosmos's tits. That's oh, yes. where uh, Xenosaga really excelled. Oh yes, and Shion running around, even though no one really wanted her to be there. And I keep on making statues of her on the subject of her tits. No, Cosmos, yes. Yeah, oh. From here, we will divide into two groups. That's never a good idea. Ever. What you have to do... Okay, now she's gonna tell us. Please don't forget about the anti-aircraft radar in the area. In other words, avoid using your boosters. Seriously? Wow. In other words, don't jump. If you get up too high, you will fail the mission. Awesome. Because you will fail the mission. I mean, it's the lamest thing. It's just, oh, by the way, you failed. Because anti-aircraft radar. Yes, because I'm an anti-aircraft. Apparently, the idea is that if they detect... This is a sneaking mission. In a giant two-story tall mech. mech. Yeah. Yeah. Because the idea is if you get detected, um, they will... The VIP that you're supposed to be capturing won't show up. Will be killed? Well, he won't land. He's in a helicopter. Alright, this is going to be interesting. I've dropped the Skype connection. You have? Stand by until the helicopter arrives. So I'm just going to start talking about stuff. Uh, I can still hear you. I can hear you too. This is a pretty cool mission. Oh, he, can, he can't hear us. Uh, you can't hear us, but we can hear you. Okay, well, I'm leaving this in. Yeah. Alright. Especially because we have this long, pointless pause while we wait for the helicopter to show up. Nice. They've arrived. I'll send over some images. It's a UAV. Oh no, it's a chopper. Chopper 4. Actually one, because it has a one on its tail. In any case, shoot it. Oh, yeah, there. And now we actually get to see an actual human in Armored Core. Batman is the target. After you see him into the structure, do it. Destroy all enemies around the warehouse. And this is probably why they went with mechs, because their uh, human animation is horrible. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I walk like that in real life all the time. Don't worry, we get to see him again later. Do you have to destroy his helicopter? As it turns out, yes. I thought n no, but uh, his helicopter counts as one of the enemies. That's why you can lock onto it. Ah. Uh. I'm assuming if you destroy the building he's in, you lose, but I have not actually tried that, because that would be really stupid. The laboratory is under control. We will now capture the target. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get Ovak back in here. <laughs> that would be great. Surrender! Otherwise we'll destroy the entire building. This is hilarious. Oh, here he comes. I'm back. Woohoo! Yes, you're the little guy. Ooh, you surrender. Target of operation cleared. Systems so is that the only in the, uh, time that we ever actually see a... Uh, person? Ah, uh, so far. I mean, I haven't finished the game, but I expect so, yeah. This is the most useless plot dump ever. Uh, they tell us that somebody's funding the Doomsday Organization and another company is working them on project or f the Phantasma project, which we kind of already knew. Yeah, so assuming because stupid. 
Yeah, but she has to now take him to a safe house in Amber Crown, which I thought we took him from Amber... Whatever. I don't even know what the hell Amber Crown is. Amber Crown is a city, okay? It's a city. Yeah, so shouldn't it be underground so when you're up in the swamps and... Yes, and shut up. Jungles and... Or maybe they're underground jungles. Maybe we shouldn't think about it. Yeah, don't. We're, we're, we've gone from Armored Core to Journey to the Center of the Earth. <laughs> it should be safe to stay here a while. This is a big-ass warehouse. Hey, guess what? Not safe. Found us already. That was too quick. As far as I can tell, he has to have teleported in there for us not to see him in the beginning of the cutscene. And also note that they're still firing at me while I- or before I can move. You never needed a chance anyways. But that being said, this mission is again really easy. Uh, or at least it's really easy when you're using the Karasawa, because it's the Karasawa. So what is Samika doing this whole time? She just seems to be flying around, having fun. She drawing fire, very important. Theoretically is, yeah, should be fighting things. I've noticed that we actually have a new mini-map, well not new, but on the mini-map, you have circles for friendly targets. Yep. That's exciting. Actually, that was their prior, well... Yes, it was, that's what I meant. So it's not new, yeah. but... We also have the friendly unit designator warning us not to shoot the um, guy we're guarding. I actually have no idea how many like, how much damage he can take before dying. For all I know, he's actually invincible, but... Sounds like an experiment. I would bet you that if you shoot him with the Karasawa, you would fail. Yeah, that or the Moonlight. Both of those are good ways to fail. Yeah. So are you ever going to actually use that laser cannon on your shoulder? Yes, actually. Oh, that's too kind of you. It's a laser cannon, so it's really a pulsed cannon. Yeah. Because that's what it was originally, and they changed the name of it for no good reason. You're using a laser rifle, and you're using a plasma cannon. Yeah, I don't see how that is a laser anything. And essentially, this is a energy rocket launcher. And it ah. uses the exact same animation as the rocket launchers. It uses the same targeting system. Well, except it actually locks on. Well, okay, yeah, not the... Actually, I think they call it the grenade launcher. Yeah, no, I'm thinking of the grenade launcher. Because it uses that special lock-on symbol, it also means that normally you'd have to stand still while using it. Yeah. Except that I have the uh, human plus advantages. Right. Somehow we made it. Actually, as I recall, Project Phantasma was described as essentially being human plus. I don't appreciate nuisances. Why don't you just give it to me? I cannot do that. I thought we already killed that guy. Yeah, apparently we're gonna have to kill him again. And three, two, one. Is he dead yet? Just about. Well, first I have to find out where he is in relation to me. And then I need to wait until he's no I'm no longer in danger of shooting the friendly unit. <laughs> Check your targets. But now that he's over there, now it's just time to mash the square button. See, I wasn't careful enough. Oh well, I'll hunt you down for fun later. Why are we letting him leave? Why don't we just kill him again? Yeah, it's not like he'd be hard to track with a Target giant plume of smoke key. following him. System switched to normal mode. Anyway, that's it for this update. Ooh, awesome. So we've learned, like, nothing about the game, but we've captured some dude. Oh, and this is Stinger 1, so I just... You have to wonder if there's going to be an email called Stinger 2 afterwards. Is there? I would assume so. <laughs> I don't know, actually. There is, isn't there? You don't you don't need to keep it from us. No, I have not played past this point. Oh.